Okay, hello guys. Ha. Okay, okay. If you feel you're down, like giving up, I'm just talking to these young youths. Like giving up, why are things going so ionical? Why are things so ionical to me? What should I do? What? How should I start writing my goals? How should I be successful at the age of 30? Or how should should I manage my 20 years as in how to build your strong foundation okay welcome to my my channel i'm nikan ranjeri okay today all my topic is all about how to be successful at that is or how to build a strong foundation at 20s and when i say how to become successful at that is it does i don't i don't mean that at that is is the end no no i am just saying how to build your strong foundation at 20s to become successful person at 30s that's all about my topic today welcome welcome to my topic i hope i'm going to inspire some people someone out there okay <clears throat> how to be successful to build a strong foundation at 30s and build a strong foundation in 20s now i have some few tips actually i have five tips on how to build a strong foundation and to be a successful person at 30 and when i talk about that so step number one it's all about start writing down your goals the moment you start writing down your goals they become real and tangible if you can imagine it then you can see it nowadays people are just just confusing these term goals as in they think that writing down your goal or having a goal is something that is earth shattering and important it should uh, they also think that it should include significant changes in finances achieving massive success but that's not true when I mean start writing down your goals, I mean your goals should be smart. They should be specific. What especially you want to achieve? What exactly you want to achieve? They should be they should be measurable, as in in terms of dates. They should be attainable, something that can be achieved, as in something relevant to you. They also should be time bounded as in they should always have deadlines. And those goals we are talking about, they are these two goals. They are divided into two long-term goals and short-term goals. So when I talk about long-term goals, they are, those are plans that you make for your future, as in they consist of family, career, retirement goals, and all that, as in envisioning, as to why long-term goals is all about envisioning envisioning where you want to be like 20 years to come 30 years to come 10 years to come yeah there where else we use short-term goals short-term goals to achieve the long-term goals so they are just stepping stones the short-term goals they are just stepping stones so they consist of education short-term jobs or projects so maybe let's it consider it to career. Career is nini, the career and the education. You have to be educated in order to achieve what you want. That's what <coughs> reason, according to my research and all that, the reason most people don't achieve their goal is that they define them or they are ever seriously or consider them as achievable. They think that goals are not achievable. They are just waiting, wasting their time writing down their short-term goals, their long-term goals, but no. I think if you can see, if you can imagine it, then you can see it. And if you write your goal down, you make it real and tangible. <coughs> it also says that to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream not only plan but also believe if you have to plan you also have to believe if you have to plan you also have to believe that plan 
you will come to yeah because <clears throat> okay remember a goal without a plan is just a wish my second step on how to become successful at that is is start letting go of your ego you have written down your goals now start acting on how to letting go of your ego raising your self esteem your self importance <clears throat> the moment you don't let you know ego can trap traps your thinking and also <clears throat> stops you from moving forward so when i say stop start letting go of your ego i'm trying to say start letting of that voice that tells you what what if i do this how will people think of me what if i what if i <clears throat> i can't do this what if i start talking to the crowd well, what will people think and all that so the moment i say start letting go of your ego what i'm trying to mean is that you start letting of that voice that negative that negative voice in your mind <clears throat> that's negative start feeding your mind mind with positivity start letting that negativity that voice you see that that voice yeah your voice in a okay what if if you are maybe you are a public speaker you start saying yourself Huh? What will people say? Wakinyona nongia na what? What will people react? How will people do this? Am I not beautiful for girls? Am I not doing the right thing? No, you are doing the right thing. Start letting that negative voice go. Oh, step number three is stop li living someone else's life. Live your own life. Be yourself. <coughs> that is every crowd has a silver leaning and it's up to you to paddle your own canoe be yourself live your own life stand by yourself live your own life the moment you start comparing yourself with others you know you you start losing sight of your own blessings so live your own life be yourself Whatever you think is right for you, do it. Never fear taking risks. Even sleeping at night, waking up tomorrow, that is a risk you are taking of sleeping. Because you never know if you are going to wake up or not. So be yourself. Even when you are going to sleep, you sleep yourself, not knowing if tomorrow you will wake up. That's why I'm, start, I'm saying stop living someone else's life. Stop comparing yourself with others because you may lose sight of your blessings. Number four, stop looking at your past. Stop looking at your past. Your past. Every future opportunity is a chance to mess up. So when I say stop looking at your past, our past or our history will never determine our future. I you know in the past you made mistakes. You hurt the people you loved so much. And that's part of life. Mistakes are painful when they happen. Correction of mistakes from the past are called experiences, which lead us to success. So don't let your past define your future. Just have that courage to continue. To continue that so we just have that courage to continue and move forward our past or our history will never determine our future so the <clears throat> the last step I'm going to talk to you about is start expressing gratitude start being wake up each and every morning grateful thankful to God also Tunamengo always put God as your first priority. So start expressing gratitude. Gratitude can turn ordinary things into a blessing. And, the, and it's the happiest way to happiness. Stop, stop, make, stop letting things that you don't have. Stop letting things that you don't have 
make you forget those things that you have so you have to have that heart of gratitude in your life each and every person deserves to be happy and happiness is a choice happiness is a choice you you can choose to be happy or not to be happy it's a choice it's up to you and happiness doesn't come from people and things that always makes you laugh but also to people and things that give your life a meaning okay be blessed and thank you for watching please remember to subscribe to my channel kn nikandranjeli thank you for watching bye bye